Anna Caton, please, the floor is yours and uh, hardly, uh, hardly <laughs> welcome. Thank you, Thank welcome. you very much. So as, uh, as a former Velux uh, awarded, together with uh, Jean-Philippe Vassal, I'm very pleased to be here again today and to present some of our projects, uh, where, as you say, the daylight, the space, the uses, the life are the most important. We like to say that uh, far beyond any aesthetic and formal determination, beyond the rules, the programs, the standards, Buildings are beautiful when people feel well in them, when the light inside is beautiful and the air is pleasant, when the exchange with the outside seems easy and gentle, and when uses and sensations are unexpected. We base all our projects on the principle of generosity of space and economy, serving the life, the uses and the appropriation, with the aim of changing the standard. The freedom of use, the capacity of space, the flexibility to give importance and place to people and uses, to appropriation, are the most important qualities we aim in designing the projects. These values refer to the idea of inhabiting, which is for us a fundamental concept of architecture. Inhabiting places people and uses at the center. Our design philosophy is based on some major principles. The generosity of space, extra space, double space. And uh, for us, um, it's important to provide this uh, general space because it facilitates um, multiplicity of use and uh, it gives also the freedom to the users. We trust that uh, through the space, architecture has a social uh, impact, which is for us very important. Another principle is to work on bioclimatic concept. It means uh, maximum use of uh, natural resource of climate, sun, light, ventilation for natural comfort, energy saving, and we, we like to use in all of our projects, uh, the principle of winter gardens, which are not only climatic space, but also uh, in important and interesting space for uses, as you will see uh, later in the projects. And also the bioclimatic design for us uh, has this interesting that it endows it endow the users to responsibility through simple gestures. Another principle is uh, the uh, economy that we don't consider as a tool of, as a constraint, but on the opposite, as a tool of uh, freedom. Economy allows to maximize um, the budget. It allows making more for the same budget. It allows to reach for what is uh, essential and to set priorities. We give importance and uh, value to the existing, to reuse, to transform to reinvent from the existing. And for us, it's a tool and the opportunity for a sustainable development uh, of uh, the cities. We try never create constraints, constraints of use to give place for people and uses to allow appropriation and users' creativity. We, allowed, we, we like to introduce in the projects uh, dialogue and participation to allow discussion and adjustments in the design process, but also to fit with the program and expectations and to involve the users' uh, training and responsibility. And uh, the process of designing for us is a process from the inside out. It means that we start the design from the interior and not outside looking at buildings from as objects. We like to think the project as the position uh, of the user in motion from a space to another space. And we think that a project is a, an addition of spaces, of atmospheres, uh, of uh, relations. Um, among the projects that we are working, we, we work a lot on the housing project. It's a, important part of uh, our practice 
And for us, housing means generosity of space, of uses, of natural light, of view, comfort, and freedom. It started a long time ago with this first project that is uh, very well, well known, but for us, it's, uh, it remains a very important project that uh, uh, we, are, we have still in mind when we are uh, designing the project. That was uh, uh, a house for a family, and uh, our goals uh, for this house was uh, uh, first to uh, change radically the standards of uh, um, prefabricated houses that uh, we found too small for the life of a family, and we were involved in uh, doubling uh, the surface of a traditional little house. Uh, it means that for the budget they had, it's a low-cost house, 60,000 uh, euros. They could expect something like 70 square meters, but we had in mind to do much more because we considered at the time, it was in 1992, um, uh, we considered that 70 square meters is not enough for a family to, to have a nice life. So uh, we propose this uh, house, which is uh, 180 square meters, and uh, uh, we also introduced um, uh, the bioclimatic design through this uh, very large uh, uh, greenhouse, which is uh, uh, added to the, uh, to the rooms on the east part, on the garden side. And this uh, very large greenhouse is, of course, an interesting uh, bioclimatic space, uh, but it's also a large space of uses, as uh, is uh, in addition to the rooms of the house, uh, has become not a garden, but uh, an, an extra space, an extra living room, much used by uh, the family. So um, we also demonstrated that uh, through um, a good design, through uh, uh, setting priorities, that was possible to uh, leave the standards, in, uh, in, um, inclu including in a small budget, as uh, the one we had. So this house was uh, also the result of uh, the first project that we did for this family, which was really based on the principle of greenhouse, which was mounted on, uh, built on the wall, and inside we had uh, boxes uh, where we could find uh, the, the rooms, uh, bedrooms, the living room. But unfortunately, this uh, project was uh, a little bit too expensive, uh, something like 10,000 over the budget, so that was necessary to, to work again, and uh, we proposed finally the, uh, this, uh, the, the other project. But since um, that time, and much before, uh, while uh, we were studying architecture, uh, with uh, Jean-Philippe, we have been uh, very fast interested by the uh, agricultural greenhouses that uh, uh, around the city of Bordeaux, where we were studying, we had a lot of these uh, greenhouses because it's a region for uh, vegetables, fruits, flowers. And uh, we were interested first by um, the um, big amount of light that the, the, the atmosphere inside, uh, like outside, but protected from the, from the, the, the rain. And also the, the very um, uh, the huge skills of this construction uh, in order to manage the climate inside with a very uh, high precision of uh, half a degree, uh, using only uh, natural elements like overventilation, uh, transparency, uh, shading, and uh, we were involved to uh, uh, use uh, this um, uh, construction in uh, architecture and to see what we could uh, do with that in, uh, in project of uh, housing or uh, anything. So the, the, the project for the family Latapi was uh, based, the first project was based on the, the use of uh, these uh, elements. But finally it was too expensive because uh, it was not normal condition to build it. We have too many structures and it's why we decided to change. But a little later, following this idea of using the greenhouses, uh, for a, a social housing program in the, in the city of Mulhouse, uh, we reintroduced this idea of the greenhouses and here we could make it uh, for this project of 14 uh, rented uh, dwellings. 
And uh, here, uh, for this project, we were five architects involved in, uh, in uh, this uh, uh, project, which was in the middle of a, a worker city of the middle of 19th century. Uh, and uh, the owner of this uh, social housing company commissioned uh, the five architects to develop innovative social housing. It was in, uh, in 2005. Uh, and um, he was ready to, uh, to listen any new ideas. The only, uh, uh, the only condition was to respect uh, the budget because social, uh, public social housing in France is subsidized by the government or by cities. So uh, he had the budget that we should respect. So here again, we were involved to, uh, to, to, to build much more than the standards of uh, uh, social housing. And uh, we used this... Uh, uh, prefabricated construction in order to, to build on the plot the maximum volume, uh, which was based on two levels, a ground level uh, with a, a concrete construction with uh, a 2 meters 0.7 uh, meters under ceiling, and it's, uh, it's provided the platform on which uh, we built the three ranks of uh, uh, standardized uh, greenhouses. And then in the greenhouses, we rebuilt, uh, we, it, we considered that we have built a kind of a big loft and inside we divided it uh, in 14 uh, dwellings. So this uh, simple construction allowed to be very uh, economic in the construction of the structure, so we could uh, use this economy of construction to give more space uh, in, uh, inside the budget. Then that was the division of uh, this volume in, uh, in 14 dwellings with uh, the rule that every dwell dwelling should have space on the ground floor and space on the first floor. So this is uh, the construction uh, completed. We used all the systems that allow to regulate the, naturally the climate, like uh, large ventilation, shedding, also um, thermal curtains on the ground floor behind the glass uh, sliding doors, uh, all these elements are totally necessary to, uh, to get a good climate in, in, inside and to regulate uh, the, the climate. But uh, it's also count on uh, uh, the, um, the action of uh, the users to open when it's necessary to open or to close or to close curtains, but also even to move uh, inside the house at the different moments of the day. And the users understand very well that uh, in summer at midday, uh, it's not the right place uh, to be on, in the greenhouse, but it's better to be on the ground floor on the north side while in, uh, in the afternoon around 6, it becomes much better to come back to the greenhouse because then you have a better temperature. So that was the situation um, of the space when uh, we delivered the project. Uh, here that's, uh, we are uh, inside in a very large living room and it's opened uh, to this uh, greenhouse. Uh, of, uh, in this case, 40 uh, uh, square meters, which is an extra space given uh, to the housing. And the same, uh, the same uh, level for the ground, so that it really happens uh, a continuity from inside to outside. And um, then it's, uh, the, we let the place to the users, to the families, to, uh, to come here and uh, uh, to make uh, their own uh, appropriation. So just uh, these few data to show that uh, um, we uh, completed the project with the, the goal of uh, doubling the space and nearly. Uh, the standard was 100 square meters and we built 187 square meters for this uh, one of these uh, units. And the discussion with uh, the owner uh, led also to not to increase the rent because it was much bigger. That was a discussion very early in the process, but also uh, extremely important because uh, if he had uh, uh, increased the rent because of the size of the dwelling, uh, it could not be any more affordable for the, the same uh, family. So this uh, deal in between architect and uh, and the client was extremely important uh, at uh, the beginning of the process of design. 
So in, and then the, the people, the, they do themselves, uh, uh, not finishes, but uh, the life inside. And uh, we are uh, surprised to see that 14 uh, uh, sim situation become 14 uh, different ways of using the space and 14 uh, different appropriation of space. So the, the efficiency of this greenhouse has been proved. Uh, we did measures uh, uh, since uh, 10 years, and uh, it's, uh, it's uh, of course, uh, a very good uh, uh, climatic uh, concept uh, in terms of uh, energy uh, saving. For the same client, we, we did recently another social housing project in the same city. Here, the density was uh, much better, and we had to build uh, four, uh, levels, uh, four levels, uh, ground four and four levels. And, but that was uh, the common agreement, uh, without any discussion at the, the, the beginning of the process, that we should go in the same way of doubling uh, the standard space of uh, social housing. So here, it's built in different conditions, but all the flats, uh, some have uh, one level, some are in duplex but all have a uh, crossing uh, orientation. All of them have uh, winter gardens. Uh, on ground floor, in uh, the summer, little gardens. And uh, on the, the upper floor, they have uh, balconies. Uh, this winter garden here, that uh, is uh, nearly three meters uh, wide, uh, we use a, a construction system with very large spans so that uh, the living room has 10 meters uh, large without any columns uh, and the same inside the space of uh, the dwelling uh, because the span of the construction is uh, 10 meters. And the last levels uh, with some more height and the ceiling. Again, this uh, winter garden and some uh, terraces. On the same principle, but uh, more and more, uh, with more um, um, bigger densification. Uh, this is in Paris. It's a multi-purpose uh, building for housing, uh, social housing, student housing. But also we have a little uh, uh, institution for uh, disabled. We are hosted uh, here, uh, here as uh, six uh, rooms. Uh, and also shops and uh, uh, retails and uh, art, uh, little art uh, gallery. So here again, that's the same principle of uh, trying to get maximum light, uh, maximum transparency, and then this transparency and this light is filtered uh, by uh, systems of uh, shading, curtains, winter gardens on uh, the garden side, all the systems that allow to filter uh, the light, the view, uh, but also the, 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 these four elements, it means two facades and two, se two sets of curtains, uh, combined all together, sometimes all closed, sometimes all open, half closed, half open, uh, they allow to get very good control of uh, the temperature and the climate inside uh, the dwellings. <coughs> As it was said in uh, the introduction, uh, we are also much involved in uh, uh, the modern housing heritage and uh, what to do with all these uh, dwellings, uh, these uh, blocks of dwellings built in the cities in the 60s, 70s. Um, and it's time now, uh, since um, 10 years in um, many countries, uh, to think what to do with uh, this uh, uh, important heritage of uh, housing. And uh, especially in France, um, uh, 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago, there was an important progr national program uh, of urban renovation, which was based uh, for the housing uh, part on the demolition and uh, rebuild of an important amount, uh, something like 200,000 uh, units, uh, which were scheduled for uh, demolition. So at the time, we were involved to, to study uh, some uh, other alternatives, and uh, because we, were, um, uh, we really uh, thought that demolition is a mistake and that we can make more and uh, better uh, than uh, demolition, and especially with the cost of uh, uh, demolition and rebuild, which, was, uh, which is something like uh, in between 150,000 to 180,000 euros 
per one dwelling. And we studied uh, uh, different cases to see uh, what we could do uh, with uh, the buildings, with the structures, but also in the, in the, the economy, uh, what would be the cost of the very good transformation. But we started with uh, this, uh, um, facing this uh, very strong program of demolition with uh, also another strong idea that uh, transformation never demolish, always add, extend, give more to do uh, more and better. And we published uh, uh, in uh, 2008 this uh, research, which named PLUS, uh, which was based on the, the case study on some example of the national program, uh, where we could study this, uh, uh, all these uh, buildings, and we studied carefully this uh, um, in, in really in depth, in detail, including the, the economy of transformation. And we could see that uh, there was always a solution to transform, to open, uh, to make uh, uh, what was not done at the time uh, means uh, uh, give uh, more light, more space, uh, to, to make extensions and uh, doing that to change quite radically the, uh, the life inside, but again from the inside out. It means that uh, we were much involved in uh, giving, uh, in, uh, to check what was not working in, inside uh, the dwelling of the existing, much more than uh, the appearance of the buildings. And uh, the, the goal was uh, to bring from the inside more space, more light, uh, more possibilities of uh, uses. <coughs> And uh, doing this uh, extension, transformation, opening, uh, the, also the transformation of the building was uh, radical. So uh, on different examples, we arrived to the conclusion that uh, in terms of structure, uh, it was always possible to do something. In terms of economy, the cost of this, those transformation was in between 40,000 to 60,000 euros. It means one third uh, of the cost of demolition and uh, transformation. So uh, we had the opportunity to make um, a, a very few projects, the one which was uh, mentioned uh, in, uh, in Paris, but uh, now I will uh, show you another one which we have completed in, uh, recently in Bordeaux, uh, based on the, si the same principles of uh, uh, opening, giving more space and uh, giving more light. This is in uh, this neighborhood of, uh, uh, in the city of Bordeaux. When it was built in, uh, in the 70s, it was not really in the city center, but nowadays uh, it's really in the, in the center and a quite nice place to be. And we worked on these uh, three big uh, uh, buildings, uh, those we have, uh, who have um, orange uh, paintings on. Uh, so it means that it's uh, an amount of 530 uh, dwellings. Uh, it's uh, social housing ownership, uh, social housing um, company of uh, uh, the Bordeaux Metropolis. It means the city of Bordeaux and uh, some other uh, uh, towns around. So this is a situation that uh, we found. The city has uh, studied uh, the project of demolition and rebuild, but it was uh, quite difficult to make it because they had to relocate first 530 families, which is a quite long process that takes nearly 10 years. And of course, uh, most of the inhabitants uh, wanted to stay uh, in uh, the neighborhood. So finally, they decided to keep the buildings and to make a project of uh, transformation. So after the process of uh, competition, we were involved in, uh, in the project. Uh, but again, uh, this idea of from inside out lead us not to see the buildings from the outside and just to say, they are ugly and we have to change the cladding uh, to repaint or to uh, bring insulation uh, around. Uh, it's totally different when uh, you visit uh, the dwellings one after one, uh, when we meet people and uh, we, we see uh, this building not in the same way afterwards. We see them as an, a, big, um, a big collection of uh, people, of space, and th that is also what is uh, uh, driving uh, the project. 
with uh, a lot of uh, different uh, spaces, uh, different atmospheres, but always, always a value uh, given by the inhabitants uh, themselves uh, through uh, little details, through uh, uh, they, uh, they, they, they create their life uh, inside. So the project uh, proposed for the competition was uh, starting from uh, this uh, existing, as this part is only one little part of uh, one of the big blocks, uh, um, three dwellings per uh, level in uh, this part of block, one elevator, one stair, uh, and two of the three dwellings with two orientations and one with only uh, south orientation. So the proposition was to make a uh, large extension on the south side, five, uh, four meters, and uh, to open all the handrails of the window so that it would be possible from any room uh, to move uh, to, the, to the extension and also to, to, uh, to change also the mobility inside the dwelling, not always from the room to the corridor and to another room, but also another possibility to move uh, through uh, the winter garden. And the process uh, was... Uh, the. Um, including the fact that uh, uh, all the families would stay during the process of construction. There was no possibility to, uh, to move uh, anyone. So we studied a process that would allow to make it with just a few uh, apartments uh, empty for just a stay of one day when we did some uh, uh, important works. And also we used uh, the capacity of uh, the roof to introduce also a uh, new, uh, uh, few new uh, dwellings uh, on the roof. So the process uh, of construction started, and with this uh, uh, system of uh, uh, elements, modules that were built out of the site and just bring uh, to uh, to be built on the building, uh, we arrived to this uh, transformation of uh, of uh, the, the building. So the process is uh, uh, this one. Uh, first, we built foundation because it's uh, uh, self-supported. It's not uh, supported by the existing construction. Then uh, we bring these uh, modules of, uh, in this case, it was four meters by uh, 7.5 with a handrail, the uh, final handrail, which is uh, already built. It's also used by the, for the workers, but it's uh, the final one. And then, uh, uh, level by level, uh, the process of uh, construction uh, continues. During this phase, there is not disturbance, no disturbance of the inhabitants, because we are in front of... Uh, so uh, they don't uh, suffer of uh, anything. And when the three uh, levels are built, we can start the process of uh, opening the handrails. And uh, then... So the process, the commitment uh, that was taken uh, with uh, the inhabitants that this process of opening runways and replacing by the new sliding uh, glass door should be two days at uh, the maximum. So more or less, uh, it was done for the 530 dwellings. That is great performance from the, from the companies because we have uh, a chain of three companies we, who uh, were doing this, uh, this work. And the most, the most longer was finally to repaint uh, inside around the, um, where, where we have cut the, the handrails. And afterwards, we can open uh, to uh, the families. So the transformation is uh, radical for a cost of 45,000 euros uh, per uh, dwelling, which is uh, nearly financed by the company. They, they got a little subsidies from the city, something like 10% of the budget, but uh, due to the big amount of incomes for, of the rents that they get every month, uh, they could get also a credit uh, to, uh, to build this, uh, uh, this extension. So if this is possible for a social housing company in this condition, that could be also possible for private uh, ownerships that many times are not subsidized by uh, any uh, 
public uh, um, institution, uh, but it's possible to make a, a, a positive uh, financial uh, operation. And some pictures before and uh, after. Most of the dwellings, they get uh, something like 50 square meters uh, extra space. And then we had the second process of uh, in interior renovation uh, to renovate electricity, bathrooms. Uh, also, with the, we changed the elevator. We created new elevators to uh, multiply the facility of uh, access. Uh, and uh, sometimes we had also to, re to make new paintings. So from this situation to this one. And uh, also what is interesting through this um, <coughs> extension is that we, uh, uh, we really improved uh, the thermal quality of the building. We just did an, insul did an insulation on the north facade, but not on the south facade because of the uh, extra space. Uh, and we, could, we cut uh, the energy uh, consumption in uh, more than two just by doing this uh, extra space, ch changing the glass windows by uh, good one, good um, performance. Uh, and here, this is uh, at uh, a, few, uh, a few weeks, a few months after the, uh, the completion and with uh, the new dwellings on, uh, on the top floor that we use uh, the potential of the flat roof to make this uh, case study with very light uh, constructing system, but a wonderful view on uh, that place. Just a few, very fast, a few data to show that on left, uh, the existing, on the right, the new, just to see that uh, we, uh, we had it uh, um, we added uh, something like 22 to 50 square meters uh, per dwelling. Uh, the energy uh, consumption was divided by three uh, before 153 uh, kilowatt per, um, <coughs> per square meter per year. And uh, now we had that 48.8. Uh, the cost was 45,000 uh, euro net. Uh, and Compared to the cost of demolition and rebuild, which was uh, evaluated uh, before they started the competition, which was 150,000, and uh, the building was occupied with the construction, and there was there is no rent increase. That was a discussion between the uh, inhabitants and the owner because uh, the, um, they have less uh, expenses for uh, uh, heating or for uh, um, different charges, and uh, the the rent of the uh, apartment uh, is uh, compensated, so at, in total, they don't have any increase of, uh, of the rent. So just a few uh, also public uh, building, which is the third part of uh, my presentation and also an important part of our practice. Um, but always in, uh, with the same ideas of uh, giving more space for a program, but also for appropriation. And as I say, our goal is always to give as much extra space and program space than, uh, than uh, program space that allows to, uh, to extend uses, to invent uses, always giving uh, light, giving views, giving this possibility of, uh, uh, of being uh, inside and outside at the same time. So this is a school of architecture in the city of Nantes. So that's a program for a school of uh, nearly 1,000 uh, students. The program was 9,000 square meters, and finally we built uh, 18,000 plus a big amount of outdoor uh, terraces. Always uh, by using a very efficient constructing system, like uh, uh, big uh, concrete systems, uh, using also uh, a design of uh, elements which uh, introduce uh, repetition, but also using uh, the, uh, the best, uh, the most performant elements of uh, uh, catalog, of the manufacturer catalogs, the best, uh, uh, the best dimension for 
sliding doors. So every uh, manufacturer has uh, like this uh, uh, product, which is uh, the most efficient in terms of uh, uh, amount of material and cost. And we try to, to work with uh, uh, these uh, pr uh, manufacturers to know uh, what is the most uh, efficient. So this is the start from uh, a very huge structure that uh, built that uh, occupies uh, all um, all the plot. Uh, so it allows to build um, uh, an important amount of grounds, of new grounds, uh, with uh, an important capacity of uh, 1,000 kilos per square meters of uh, of uh, possible uh, charges and the uh, uh, high level on the ceiling. The ground floor is uh, nine meters on the ceiling and the upper floors seven meters, uh, which allows to rebuild uh, inside the volumes and to allow a kind of uh, flexibility for the school for a while, but maybe in the future, in 30 years, for another uh, program. So this allows this extra space also to introduce uh, climatic space. So here in, uh, in uh, green, this is the, prog the program with the classrooms, with the auditorium, uh, library. And in blue, this is the unprogrammed space, but which has um, mostly <coughs> different conditions of uh, eating of temperature. So in this uh, place where the, uh, the uses are uh, very various and uh, it really meets the expectations of uh, the school with different pedagogies, different programs, uh, even the, uh, the large auditorium has uh, this large opening onto the square. It was one of the expectation of the, the scenography department to test <laughs> some, uh, uh, and it's not only used for the courses, it's, on low, it's also used uh, for uh, external events like dance, theaters, or conference. So the school is also able to uh, welcome, uh, to host a lot of uh, events of the city uh, that many times uh, ask uh, the assistant of students to prepare uh, these uh, events. Here uh, in this extra space, it was, uh, for example, in this case, a uh, kind of a virtual model of the city of Berlin, the plan, which is uh, totally wrong, but it's, uh, it was supposed to be uh, a vision of the plan of uh, Berlin. And, all, and always this uh, perspective, these views uh, and light given by uh, the space, but also always controlled by uh, curtains, by shadings. A large ramp is uh, linking uh, all the levels, and it allows to uh, provide terraces at uh, ev every level, which can be used by students, but also by, by different uh, events or different uses, concerts, or like uh, this uh, last summer, uh, outdoor cinema that uh, stayed here during uh, three months. And, but that was the work of uh, a studio of uh, students during all the year to calculate uh, the scaffolding for the screen, to prepare the construction of the screen, to, to, to prepare the organization of, uh, of the seats and the public. And the last project in a very few uh, minutes, uh, it's a project for a, a contemporary art center in the north of France. Uh, it was also the result of a competition so we had to, uh, to, to use, to reuse this uh, old uh, building, which was uh, one of uh, the most important uh, building of this uh, industrial era where they finished to assemble uh, the big boats, big boats before they leave to the sea. Uh, unfortunately, this uh, era has been uh, totally destroyed, but uh, one of the building has been kept and uh, it, was, uh, it was kept as a, uh, a uh, piece of memory of, uh, of the site. And we had, uh, for the competition, uh, to fill this space with a contemporary art center with uh, something like 3,000 square meters of storage and 3,000 square meters uh, for uh, exhibition uh, space. So the visit was uh, amazing. We discovered this uh, huge, huge space with uh, a high capacity of, uh, of uh, space, of light, um, a floor that could, could support five uh, tones by square meters because they were used to, to, to have big uh, 
pieces of uh, boats uh, inside. And we, have ve we had very fast the intuition uh, that it was a mistake to fill this space, that we will lose something fantastic in filling it with uh, floors. So starting from uh, the situation, that was uh, the program requested more or less to, uh, more or less to make it. And uh, we proposed in the competition to keep the space totally empty and to build a twin, uh, totally new, on the right, uh, which could uh, offer uh, in the best condition uh, storage, uh, exhibition space, while we could keep also the use of uh, this uh, amazing uh, space. And uh, the, the new building was made with uh, a core, uh, with a concrete structure, and the second envelope, totally transparent, uh, which has also an important uh, use for uh, climate um, control. That was the rendering of, uh, for the competition and the building uh, completed. Uh, so we could um, achieve all the, um, the, uh, the intention, but also the expectations of, uh, of the program. So the connection from the existing to the new was through just uh, a few uh, openings. A system of uh, staircase, which is uh, not in, uh, uh, which is in, in the uh, envelope, in between uh, the, the core and the envelope, that always allows to uh, to, to take profit of uh, the wonderful uh, view on the on the sea. Uh, one of the most important exhibition space with uh, nine meters and the ceiling that was uh, requested by the program, but also some other little uh, uh, rooms. And the last level, which is an um, unprogrammed, but uh, which is a result of the, uh, um, the block for storage exhibition and this uh, envelope uh, done with uh, ETFE that also uh, have all the system of uh, ventilation and uh, shedding that allows to control uh, the, the good uh, climate inside. But it's uh, offered to the uh, to the use, and there are a lot of uh, exhibition, but also the, the parties, uh, opening parties. The gap in between the, the new and uh, the existing, and they are really twins. Uh, that was for us uh, the best way to, uh, to um, associate this uh, existing and the new without any competition and uh, without any uh, demonstration. on the north view and the night view, which also allows to see uh, through the transparency uh, what happens inside. Thank you. <laughs>